Happy New Year! <laughs> that was the ball drop. The slime drop. Anyway, guys, welcome back to Slime Rancher. Happy New Year's. Let's collect this stuff. We're gonna go to the wilds. Oh, man. We still have another cycle on these. And we got tar happening. Where you at? So, uh, we're gonna go to the wilds. Get some... Some, uh, Ookabooba, or whatever it's called. Ookadooba? Ookadoba? I don't know. That stuff. We're gonna go do that. Get some tofu. Try to, uh... We're gonna probably spend most of the episode doing that. Now, utilities, extractors. Warp tech. Refinery link. Yes. So I have the green teleporters, too. I didn't ever set that up. Now... The plan for that, I'm not going to set that up yet. <clears throat> I need a teleporter to bring me to the desert, but I want to use the butterscotch teleporter for that, for whatever reason. A little arbitrary reason, because you make it with desert ingredients and it's butterscotch colored? I don't know. That's why I want to put it in the desert. Anyway, so let's see. Let's see how many, how full this is. That's full, that's full. We need tabbies, honey, rad's full, phosphors are full, boom is almost full, puddles, not even close, fire, not even close, we gotta check, we're gonna check everyone real fast, I'm just gonna try to do this quick. Quantums, I think we're, we're putting them in there now, crystals are full, hunters need to go in there, so honey hunters, mosaics, we need to put more of them in there, we don't have any, really, dervish, yes, at least we have 170 dervish. It's crazy. And then, all right, t this is gonna be Tangles, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'd like to go and get uh, some Tangle slimes, but we're gonna, we're taking a break from that at the moment, from like progression. And I wanna go and do some other things. I wanna, you know, we have 39,000 new bucks, but that's not a lot. It's not a lot. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. I just thought of something. Is it new bucks? Or am I calling it the wrong thing? Are new bucks what you use in Fortnite? For some reason, that just popped into my head. And I think I've been calling the money here new bucks. Right? Does it tell you in here? Tutorials. Money, money, money. I don't know. Uh, I think it's called New Bucks. But I... I'm not sure. Anyway, so I'm just gonna call it money for now. Uh, that's so weird. I think I've been calling it New Bucks, but for some reason I think I'm calling it the wrong thing. Uh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Anyway, now. Everyone that has food here, it's fine. We got food. Let's just fly over the wall. Because that's the way we do things around here. We don't walk. If we, Why walk if you can fly? Right? Hey, what are you doing? You gotta collect this stuff. Uh, you got plenty of food. There's no plorts in here. Okay. There's plorts in there, buddy. Let me fill that up. There you go. And... Okay, we'll just leave the plorts in there for now. I'm no, no, can't do it. Get over there. You two carrots. Let's see. All right, so more maybe. Pogo fruit. This should be enough. Yeah, it's plenty. Check on these guys down here. And wait, is this? No, that's not the teleporter. The teleporter is back in the beginning of this area. Maybe I should put a teleporter here to the lab? I'm not sure. So we don't have to walk around this much. Because it's the future and there's teleportation and who needs legs, right? Right, exactly. Exactamundo. Give me water. Because we still need water. It's the future. Technology has not yet found a way to keep people and things alive without water. Still need water. Hydration. Very important. Perhaps the most important. 
Now, we're gonna go right here real fast. And we're gonna buy this for 32,000, why not? Ah, Slime Trophy 2 for 40,000. How many ranks are in this? I'm sure that that's like, this is the thing where you spend the most money on, right? That seems so. Oh, buddy. Look at you guys right here. You guys are awesome. Stop freaking out. Okay. So you need more food. Now, ow, ow, ow. Let me collect all these mosaic ports. Excellent. Let's feed you guys. And I do, I'm sorry everyone <laughs> about what I did in the cave the last episode. I had to do that. It was, it was mean, yes, but it's just, it was for science. I'm a slime scientist. It had, it, it'll be for the, it, it's for the best. It'll be good. Trust me. Trust me. All right, put them in there. Now we're all finished, right? Is there anything else I could buy? The warp depots, like I'm, I'm still coming up with a strategy for, oh. I don't have enough money. New box. It is new box. I'm right. Okay. I was right. Taming bell. The dulcet tone of this curious bell will calm the anger of any feral slime that hears it. Huh. Interesting. But yeah, I'm still coming up with a good strategy for how I want to completely demolish my, my farm here, my ranch, and set it up the most efficient way possible using teleporters, using warp depots and a combination of like two drones in every area and putting the slimes in the perfect spots i might need to make different largos too to make sure that we uh pretty much make make the most efficient use of our of our uh gadgets and everything speaking of gadgets and get the most bang for our buck, basically. Uh, where are you? You're up here. And then we're going to the wilds. I have to. You're gone. See you later. Alright, let's go to the wilds. After I do this. Boop. And don't put... The... Okay, there we go. Some buzz wax. Some wild honey. And give me that. Thank you. There's also like a bunch of Gordos I want to see. But for now, this is what we're doing. We're going to spend the rest of our day in Slime Rancher. <laughs> Forever. We're going to spend the rest of our day in Slime Rancher. Uh, oh, yeah. In the wilds. Collecting Ukaduba. <laughs> Whatever it's called. So, we need, okay, 120. Wow. All right. So, all right. Let's just go. No time to waste. Give me the Ukadoba. Kuka, Kukadoba. That's it. I knew I was close. Um, Let's go up this way. Oh, hey, maybe I should have made one of those other things. I didn't have any money anyway with 7,000. All right. Kukadulba. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. Love it. Okay, so we got this. We... Hang on. Wait a minute. Oh, my... Oh, you're just a slime. Okay, I thought it was, like, something else for some reason. I don't know why. I just thought it was something else. I thought it was an ornament, to be honest. Initially... And then right after that, I was like, wait a minute, what is that? And then I thought it was something else. And then it dawned on me that it was a slime afterwards. So I want to get that. We're going to get like, we're going to clear this place completely of Kokodoba. Pop it or crack it. Yeah, man, come on. Don't drop it in the water. No. I wonder if that's going to wash up. Probably not. At the, uh, the docks. So where are we exactly? Do the wilds... They, not, they don't show up on the map, right? 
we're nowhere, it seems. It's like the charm of this place is you could be anywhere. And we got, I knew there had to be something here. Don't spit it in the water. Wild coral columns, further evidence that at one time, all of the far, far range was covered in the slime sea. Are the slimes actually amphibious or, oh, wow, no, hey. Wow, no, we got 12. Oh, that's right. I can only carry 50 at a time. Well, let's get 50 real fast. And then we can come back and get more. Eat a carrot. All right. Don't bite me. Cocodoba. <laughs> It reminds me of the Muppets, right? What is that? The chef talks like that or something? Oh, Cocodoba. It's right? It's something like that. I don't know. I don't remember. I, I, I haven't watched the Muppets in years. Now, the Muppet Babies, however. Muppet Babies, that's some good stuff. Isn't there a new... I, I'm talking about the old school Muppet Babies, but is there a... I think there's a new Muppet Babies. Or is it du Muppet Babies? Good stuff. DuckTales. Good stuff. Chippendales. Rescue Rangers. Stop killing me. Good stuff. And there was like... What else? What else can I remember? Captain Planet. No, that was not good. I didn't like that. I love cartoons though. Like, I haven't watched much anime. I've watched, like, the the ones that are really popular, pretty much. Or, like, the movies. Anime movies. The only actual anime series that I've watched all of was Neon Genesis Evangelion. But, uh... Not opposed to anime. I just at this right now, I don't watch anything now. Like I'll watch uh, Game of Thrones when it comes back, but for the final season. But other than that, like I I watch a little bit on YouTube. That's it. I don't watch anything. I spend I, the only thing I watch are my own videos when I edit them. Basically, I spend almost all my time, you know. Watching my own stuff, like editing it, making my own videos, and we got a cave, a crystal cave. Yeah, so those mushrooms, yeah, I feel like I'm in Subnautica. Ah, Subnautica, another. See, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll put this, even though this game isn't a lot like Subnautica, for some reason, it has that same feel to me. Playing this, it's more lighthearted than Subnautica is. It doesn't have jump scares or anything or giant things trying to eat you. It has feral slimes, but <laughs> but they're they're nice. They're tame compared to compared to a, a Reaper Leviathan or a Ghost Leviathan. The horrors of the deep. But uh with the giant squid, squid rows, squid row juniors. Uh, I want to, let's go down here, I guess. But yeah, like playing this, I get the same sense of wonder and just that same sense of like, I can walk around and play this game without stopping for hours, without caring, no care in the world. I could just keep playing this game, talking to myself, rambling, nonsense into a microphone and it doesn't matter it's just pure fun i love it and i feel the same way about subnautica and i know subnautica was out like this game when did this game come out 2016 i think when did subnautica first appear in the wilds of the indie gaming scene it's been probably longer Right? 
Subnautica has been around for a while, in early access or whatever. But I, I, even though I bought Subnautica, actually wait, no I didn't. My friend Dale, or my friend, my buddy, who I used to build with in Terraria, he was, he's the, one of the few people, there's only like three, maybe four people I've ever really built with in Terraria. And uh, he and I got along really well building. He's an amazing builder. And uh, I don't know if he plays Terraria anymore. He should, though. I don't know if he watches any of my stuff anymore. Uh, I know he used to. But he got me Subnautica. And it was a long time ago. And uh, I waited to play it until it came out fully released in, uh, you know, I didn't want to play it in early access. Stop it. I'm looking for a nutcracker. Here it is. Go away. I'm gonna juke you fools. Hey, <laughs> don't want that. Don't want that in my face. But yeah, even though, like, I wanted to play Subnautica for a really long time, I stayed strong. And I didn't play it at all because I didn't want to spoil it for myself. Because I uh, just wanted to experience it the way, like, full, like the full game. Okay, look at this. We don't have enough, but cool. We're gonna get some tofus. Yes, look at all this tofu. Mm mm mm, spicy tofu. Hey, can I talk to you again? Head back into the wilds and collect those cocodobas. I'll reward you with a deluxe upgrade for your gardens if you get me enough. Oh, look at that. Is that the spicy tofu with carrots in it or something else? Like orange eggplant? Okay. Cool. Let's go back. Let's do it. Wait, is there another... This is back home. I can't... Can I... Oh, you gotta... Ah. Oh. I want to explore here. Oh well, fine. Fine. We'll go back to the wilds. A night in the wilds. With Jacques Cousteau. Now, yeah. So I resisted playing Subnautica for a very long time. So I wanted to experience it like the complete game. And uh, then... When it finally came out, like I started my series on it, not long after it came out. Oh man, did we get all of it? I hope not. I hope there's plenty of fresh kookadoba. Kookadoba. <laughs> Just waiting to be plucked. Uh, I, I fell in love with that game. Subnautica, I fell in love with. Now I can't wait until the Arctic. Arctic Expansion. I know it's a standalone game, pretty much, but yeah, cannot wait. Below Zero, I'm pretty sure it's called. I'm kind of drawing a blank at the moment, but Below Zero. Cannot wait until that comes out. I will definitely be playing that, but the reason why I'm talking about all this is because I kind of feel the same way about this game. Like, I love this game. And <clears throat> I knew I was gonna love Subnautica long before I played it. Okay, let's get out of here. We gotta go up, actually. Let's try here. I knew I was gonna love Subnautica before I played it because I really, really I've always really loved uh, subaquatic environments, underwater environments, like really in in any game. And one of my favorite games from like a while back it was on the Sega Dreamcast which was an amazing system it died very quickly like with Sega basically and Sega really got murdered uh, <laughs> in the console war uh, but Echo the Dolphin Defender of the Future very very crazy interesting game got maddening at times, but you play as Echo the Dolphin. You play as a dolphin who travels through time. You go back in time and you go forward in time. And, oh, hey, fall in the water, please. Get out of here, punk. Get out. No. 
Stop it. Stop. No. Look how fast you ate him. I thought you had to use a fork or something, piggy. Don't wolf that thing down. Come on. Anyway. So, yeah. Uh. <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> Subnautica, Slime Ranch. I love so I love both of these games very much, and it feels really nice to to be able to play them on the channel. And so, like, this game is gonna be around for a while on my channel because I love it very much. As long as there's something for me to do in this game, and it doesn't feel like I'm just like stretching it out, you know, then you're gonna see Slime Rancher content. I might eventually like, slow down with the episodes. I don't know when. I mean, not anytime soon, probably. But, oh man, come on, we're surrounded in water. I guess just have fun, do what you gotta do. This is the Nightmare Island of Tar. Uh, were we out there? Pookadooba? How'd you get up here? You know what? I'm not gonna put a, a hydro turret down. I have one on me. Can you even put anything here? I don't know. Come here. Come here. Get out of here. <laughs> See you later. Get out of here. That's where you belong. Melting into a fine sludge. Okay. I guess we'll look down here. Oh, look at this. It's a coconut. A coconut. Coconuts of fun. Coconuts of fun. Oh, there's another one. Where's the kooka cracker? <laughs> it's, oh, man. Oh, it's up there. Okay. So let's fly up here. So that was a reference to... Uh, hey. Satellites of... Okay. I forgot the name of the song and the band. What is it? Roxy Music? Possibly. Some glam, glam rock. People are gonna hate me who are like really, really into this particular band. Oop, and oop. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, hmm. oh man, give me this. We only got 15. Just don't fall in the water. Alright. It's my theme song. That's the Slime Rancher theme song. It goes like this. We're gonna have to, like, make some notes. Or put some note blocks out. Or chimes, I mean. And create our theme. It goes like... <clears throat> don't you fall in the water. Woo! <laughs> Guys, I know. I know. I, I apologize. <laughs> Once again, Fury is recording at it's uh, four in the morning right now. Just about. Fury should be sleeping. But instead, Fury is recording Slime Rancher and talking complete nonsense. Almost jumped in the water. Hey, hey, you're going to go in the water in a minute if you don't stop messing with me. Man. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> they're swarming. <laughs> okay, I'm not giving you any tofu. This is my tofu. Belongs to me. It's gonna belong to all my little lucky little slimes back at home. Alright, we're just gonna probably fall in the water and it's gonna be fun. And I'm gonna scream and yell. It's the slime sea. It's like a giant pool, endless pool of jello. Oh, hey, we're back here again. <laughs> All right, now stop. Stop it. Whoa! Okay, pay attention. Pay attention. I just wanted some more. I wanted to get this thing. Wait, we didn't... Did we even go over here at all? I mean, obviously, we got some... Got some kookadoobas. Hey, come on, man. Let me... I'm gonna get very upset at you. What are you doing? Dude, stop. There's, they're just coming out of nowhere. Hey, come here. Go away. Come here. Hey, you know what? Boom. Oh, I could do this too. Ugh. I did not do anything. 
You know what? Go fly. <laughs> Get me angry. Uh, we were probably here. I think this is where I came from, right? Yeah, that's the teleporter we came here from. All right, let's one final Woo. adventure. Ow, this way. To the lands of the Cocodobas. Coconuts. All right. Don't fall in the water. It's like, wait, there was a song that's like that, except it's not like that at all. I think it was like, come from the water. Cocodoba. You're a nice one. Here, have a carrot. You don't want carrot? Go play with it. It's a toy. They're just mad at me because I'm letting them all turn into tar. Take some water. <laughs> I just snorted again. Don't... Come on. That can't be a habit. Man. Maybe it's a late night thing? Because I snorted recently in another video. And I think maybe I was recording that one at night too. It's like a snoring thing. Oh man, do I snore? I never used to snore. <laughs> oh boy. I know I talk in my sleep. I shouldn't be talking about this, but whatever. I'm just doing what I do, guys. Stream of consciousness. Whatever comes out of my mouth, comes out of my mouth. But yeah, I used to... I've been told that I talk in my sleep at times. Anyway, alright, so that's enough of that. Let's get out of here now. We gotta find before we... We're pushing our luck. Now, I don't think there's... We managed to obtain most of the... The rare delicacy of the Kukadoba. Now we must turn these suckers in. To Mr. Ogden. So that we can uh, procure some delicious spicy tofu. Hey. Were you eating a chicken? It's like the thing, too. Did I, I probably mention this already. It's like John Carpenter's The Thing. I'm not talking. There was a remake. Don't ever watch that. <laughs> it doesn't have bearded Kurt Russell in it. Young bearded Kurt Russell. Then it's no. Don't. Don't watch it. And if you don't like scary movies, don't watch it either. It's not like the most scary or anything like that, but. It's got some some gore. It's really old, but it's a classic. It's totally a classic. One of the best. One of the best around. All right, now we got 32 delicious kookadobas. All right, let's go. Now, let's see. Oh, boy. Well, we didn't finish this. So I'm going to come back, actually. We're Look at that. We're so close. We're going to come back and finish this next time. Oh, hey. Okay. <clears throat> More tofu. We will be back. For now, we must go and make sure nothing is burning down. Do you have food? You got plenty of food. They down there, they're fine. Right? I don't think I... They should be fine. I'll check them a little bit later. Alright. And let's see. What is... Is anything up? I think next time we're going to go and finish this real quick. Go to the wilds, like first thing. We're gonna go straight to the wilds before anything else. And then we're gonna go and uh, get that next upgrade or whatever that he gives us. And then we're gonna go straight to the desert. Straight to the desert. And we're going to hopefully... Oh no. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, we gotta start selling these, I think. Why are they dropped? Did they just get blown out from them blowing up? 
There's room in here. Meh. Anyway, yeah. That's what I got. I got to reprogram the drone to go and sell everything now. For now, until we make things more organized and efficient. I'm just going to start selling everything. Because we need some more new bucks again. But yeah, we're going to go uh, straight to the wilds. Do that real fast. And then make it to the desert and uh, solve some more of the puzzle in the desert. Then... Maybe get some tangles, tangle slimes. We'll see. Anyway, guys, thank you very, very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace out.